Just took a bunch of pictures. I'll uh, upload them or whatnot. I kind of like doing these. These are cool, and this person's looking at me like, who the fuck are these you know? bike. It's a stone marker. This marks the Ohio side. This would be the Virginia, West Virginia side. And this marks Pennsylvania. The beginning of the U.S. Public Land Survey, survey has been designed to register National Historical Landmark under the provision of the Historic Site Act of August 11, 1935. The site crosses exceptional value and coloring and oral history in the United States, U.S. Department of the Interior, National Park Service, 1966. National Historic Landmark, Civil Engineering Landmark, initial point of the beginning of the U.S. Public Land Survey System. And this Lewis and Clark Expedition and this thing's dirty, I need to be cleaning all. I was going to bring, I brought the nice camera, I didn't bring the SD card for it, so we're doing this on the phone, but. Erected in 1881 by a joint commission appointed by the state of Pennsylvania and Ohio to re-secure and remark the boundaries lines as established in 1786. So this would be West Virginia, but. And it says, <laughs> 1,121 feet south of this spot was the point of beginning for surveying the public lands of the United States. There on September 30th, 1785, Thomas Hutchinson, first geograph geographer of the United States, began the geographic lines of the seven ranges. This inscription was dedicated September 30th, 1960 in joint action of East Liverpool Historic Society and American Congress on surveying and mapping. So let's uh, Let's jump back on the bike and talk about it. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please feel free to hit the subscribe down below. As always, there's a link to the Discord server in the description. And uh, look forward to seeing you. And uh, maybe this will be a, things, a sign of things to come. Thanks for watching, everybody.